Nigeria's Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, has directed companies with foreign participation to shore up their paid-up capital to a minimum of 100 million naira. And this was announced by the Commission on its X page. It stated that the development is in line with the revised handbook on expatriate court administration for 2022. The increase represents a 900% rise from the earlier 10 million requirement for foreign companies in Nigeria. According to the Commission, any application for incorporation of a company having foreign participation would not be processed unless it complies with the above requirement. And joining me to talk about this live on the news is Uludari Akin Laja, a policy expert and a managing partner, oar and company. Good morning. Glad to have you join me, Uludari. Good morning. It's good to be here. Thank you for having now, me. Now, what do you think would be the impact of these paid up minimum from 10 uh, to 100 million? What impact do you foresee it having on foreign companies in Nigeria? All right. So, um... The, the, you, you, might, you might have movement of some foreign companies to uh, climb uh, environments where uh, they might have ease of doing business uh, because companies move to your environment uh, because of these kind of uh, factors, okay? So uh, some companies move to company, uh, countries that don't, allow, they don't ask them to pay taxes. Some com uh, companies move to places where they are uh, allowed some form of uh, rebate over a period of time. So what this will say is that there will certainly be a reduction in the amount of foreign companies who are directly either currently operating in Nigeria or maybe want to come into the country. Uh, it, it's going to affect the number of people who want to come because from 10 to 100 million, that's a, that's a massive jump. How about for companies in Nigeria that depend on foreign uh, investment? Uh, take, for instance, technology, mm. manufacturing. Mm -hmm. How do you see this impacting their business operations? It is uh, going to impact because if, once you increase your share capital, what that means is that you're going to be uh, your, your tax returns are going to be higher. It's going to cost you more to file. You know, it's going to, your, your operational cost is certainly going to increase. Okay, so um, I, I, I don't know why uh, the, the, the policy had to come at this time. <laughs> you know, when uh, a lot of companies are grappling and trying to uh, balance out increase in exchange rate and all that, you know, but <laughs> CC has said they are going to increase the share capital. So it's going to affect, a lot of companies are going to have to re-strategize. Uh, maybe the thinking from CAC and the government is that these people are making money. Mm. Are making money, so let's have a bit of the pie and a bit of the well, money. When you, say, <laughs> when you say, just to interject there, yeah. Ludari, when you say you're not certain if this is the best of time, when would be the best of time? Well, uh, w with policies, it's not good or bad in that sense. It's about timing. It's about problem definition. Okay, so what's this trying to solve, or what's this trying to? <laughs> what are we trying to solve? with these kind of initiatives. Uh, the, the thing that will come to mind quickly is people saying maybe they are trying to protect indigenous businesses uh, and reducing the amount of foreign companies that take the roles of indigenous businesses. So uh, people can say anything to just define this policy. But my question is, what exactly is this policy trying to solve and why is it coming at this time? Mm. Let's talk about smaller businesses or yeah. enterprises, uh, foreign small enterprises, trying to make their way uh, into the Nigerian scene. What do you foresee that being for them? What impression would that leave for them? I think uh, b businesses uh, sh will come to Nigeria still. Um, you might have a slowdown uh, just because of the transitions we're having now, uh, but uh, businesses might still be in the Nigerian market. Because if I'm coming into the Nigerian market with $100,000, <laughs> That's if you are converting to naira, how much how much is that going to be for you? But someone else is also thinking that once I convert the money, am I going to be able to make up my investment if I'm going to take it back into dollars? You know, so there are a lot of questions or euros or whatever uh, foreign exchange you are coming with. Uh, but I still think small businesses will still come into Nigeria. What we still have as an argument or as a as a bragging right, <laughs> if I use that word, is our population. Uh, the, but the buying power is a different argument. Do people, will people have the ability to buy what you're selling? but that we have the population and the numbers that you can uh, see as a thriving a viable market. Uh, there's no argument to that. Now, in terms of uh, this policy, how do you foresee it impacting the strategies, uh, the business operandus of existing foreign companies in Nigeria looking to expansion? How do you foresee that impacting all of your business strategies? Well, uh, I, I, what will then happen is you will now send these foreign companies might now use Nigerians as maybe most of the people who will be on the board of most of these companies. Maybe Nigerians who live abroad, 
who will then be the ones fronting uh, for most of these companies. Or maybe they will now open the companies as Nigerian companies run by Nigerians, but in partnership with international companies. So companies will always, for instance, if you're going to America, there are some states you will not register your company because you're afraid of how their tax procedures operate. So people will go to other states. So you have all those things even now. People, people avoid certain areas to go to certain areas because of these okay, kind of policies. So I think businesses will find a way around it, either you know, adjust who their uh, board members are, okay, people who are uh, seen as owners of the business, make them into core Nigerians and make people feel it's a, it's a core Nigerian company they run. Mm. <laughs> And that's the most we can take on this conversation. Thank you for your time on Thank the you. news. Uh, Uludari Akinlaja, a policy you. expert and managing partner, OR and D Company. Thank you for your time once again. Thank you for having me.